new year to you and welcome back to my very first playthrough of this year 2014 I'm Marcus and I decided to start this year with this awesome game Legacy the Testament of Duke Duke Racy this was really some of the yeah best games from SN 2013 at least for me I really was looking forward to this one when I could finally got hold of it I played my very first session and I absolutely love this there's already a great playthrough by Rado out there that is concerning the normal multiplayer variant and that's why I decided to go with one of the solo variants and yes there are two solo variants in this game one is more or less yeah um, imitating the normal multiplayer game so in order to learn that game and the other one is really quite different as this would be the testament variant I will explain that later on what the big difference is I've never played this uh, variant before so I'm also very curious how this plays out from what I heard this seems to be nice so I'm really looking forward to this one and I think without further ado I will jump into the action I think I won't explain you all of the rules beforehand and I think I will also not really cover the difference between the multiplayer game and the solo play from time to time maybe I might mention this but I think I will really focus on the solo uh, variant here in this one if you want to learn the game in a multiplayer fashion then I really recommend you to reach out to Rado and check out his great playthrough so let's get started I'm really looking forward to this one I hope you too Noble Lord if these words have reached you, this means that I am no longer of this earth and have joined my ancestors in a more peaceful place. Whether you have found this manuscript in an old library, in a chest buried deep in a cave, or perhaps in a dusty old box, know you hold in your hands the last words of the Duke de Crecy. I already love this testament that ships with this game. Yeah, I already prepared my solo playthrough for Legacy, the testament of Duke to Crazy. It's relatively similar to the normal multiplayer game. I think you only play now with three man mansions, three of these venture cards. You remove some of the missions here, you remove some of the child cards, but I think only the child cards that show the complication at birth or lose mother or child so this is something that will never happen in this variant of the solo playthrough. Note that there are two variants for solo play with Legacy here. One is the standard solo variant. This is more or less the same like you would play in the multiplayer game. Of course there are also some changes here but I decided to go with a more challenging one and this is the Testament variant. And in this Testament variant you are not building your own family. You try to figure out who your ancestor really was. And this is really a very interesting twist to the concept of the original um, concept of this game. So I have already prepared my starting family tree. I will be Patrick the stable master that down here. These are my two parents so this is already predefined in this game. So this is something you not draw at random. So your father would be Laurent the jeweler and your mother would be this nice looking lady Angelique the shopkeeper. They are both craftsmen so you come from a craftsman family. Not very aristocratic but that's how it is. Above your parents are their parents so basically your grandparents and right now they are unknown to you so don't know who they really be and this is actually part of your mission in order to win this game you have to find out who your family members actually were. An additional component to this testament variant are these hint cards here and there are hint cards for each of the generations so one two and three as you see that here and for each generation you draw three of these um, hint cards I think there are five or six so you don't always play with the same hint cards in each game so this is already very interesting and in order to really win this game you have to fulfill all of these nine hint cards by the end of the game. I'm pretty sure I won't won't manage this so <laughs> this is really my first time I play this solo variant I played the multiplayer 
um, version relatively often now because I really enjoy this game. So I'm really curious how this Testament variant actually works out. So I haven't even cheated here, so I haven't checked one of those hint cards yet. So I really will be completely surprised of what they were. I really kept my surprise to that. I really love randomness in my games. And an additional change to the multiplayer version of Legacy is your own player board. This is the normal player board for the um, yeah, multiplayer game. So with the merry action, with the have children and stuff like that. But with this Testament version, you play on the flip side of these um, card. And this is the actions themselves are pretty similar. They are named differently in order to yeah, match the theme here. So for example, who were they? So in, instead of just placing a card to, to um, enlarge your family, you would then be able to yeah, get to know your family member better, for example. Or how big was my family? This replaces the normal um, give birth and the rest is more or less similar. So how wealthy they are is something like that. So do some fundraising and whom did they know is something you will be able to yeah, grow your stock of friends. When you start with Patrick the Stable Master as your main characters, you start the game with one income, of course, with one um, zero prestige points. You have nine gold, which is actually not too bad. And you start your game with five of these friend cards. So let's have a look at them. So we have Lucien, we have Sarah the Revolutionary, Cindy the Ma Maid of Honor, nice. Pascal, officer of the Cardinal's Guards, and Olga, the Young Widow. And these are our starting hand. Let's have a look at the friends that are available in the yeah, open supply here. And these are Pauline, the newspaper editor, John, the bankrupted lord. Oh, he's really looking depressed. Leonid, the foreign deputy. Wow, that man is hungry. Charles, the king emissary. Wow, that's expensive guy and Thomas the promising cadet. This works pretty well with Charles. Of course, he's French, he's British, but I think right now they're not at war. Let's draw our three hint cards for generation number one. Okay, let's see. One of your mother's ancestors was a Spanish. Hmm, that's already a problem, but let's see what we have for our second card here, one of your grandmothers contributed to the community by holding a big reception, feast, banquet or grand ball. Wow, this is tough. Whew. Okay, something we have to take care as well. And the third item for this generation only, the male ancestor of your father had title. Hmm. This is really challenging. I really should have looked at them um, before I started this adventure here. But okay, let's see how we can deal with them. Right now, either or neither of my starting hand or the friends that are available on the market, let me call it that way, are Spanish. That's already a problem. So I'm really considering of using the mulligan rule. Not sure if I'm still allowed to do though, but I think I will just do that. So I will discard all of my cards here and will draw five new cards and really hope to find someone with a Spanish nationality. Let's see what we have drawn next. So, Claire, French, Carlos, Spanish, perfect. Then we have Olga, the young widow. I think we had her again. She really wants to join our family, it seems. And we have another Spanish. And this is Miranda, the fortune teller. But this would lose a prestige point. So I think we should be fine with Carlos here. Awesome. Okay, let's see. I think I will now try to set the hint cards accordingly so that I can easily remember them. So the first one says one of your mother's ancestors was Spanish. So we will have a look on this side of my mother. So I will do this hint card here on their side. So we know um, someone of these two should be Spanish in order to fulfill this hint card. What I didn't mention, every time you complete or fulfill one of these hint cards, you gain one prestige point. So then the second hint was one of your grandmothers contributed to the community by holding a big reception. So this will now be concerning one of my grandmothers. So I will do that on this level here. So either of them should do maybe a little feast here or something. This is relatively cheap. It only costs us three gold, but we gain four honor and we are allowed to draw an unknown uh, friend card from the deck. So this can be I think something we could fulfill pretty easily. 
And the third hint card says the male ancestor of your father had a title. So let's put that here on my the male ancestor of your father, my grandfather. Yeah, that's right. So he had a title. Right now there are three titles available and these are Count, Alderman or Banneray. I think this is nothing we have to fulfill during the very first generation. It only says that you have to do the, um, that you have to draw them in the very first generation. So I think I can still uh, fulfill these hint cards also in generation two or three. And I think then we can get started. So we do have these four actions at this point in time that are on our player board. So how wealthy were they? We could gain some gold here. Whom did they know? Good possibility to gain new friends. Who were they? This is actually something where we can place our friends from our hand. And then how big was my family? And this is something to bring additional children to your generation. So for example, a brother for your father. And that was already wrong. I think all your actions can basically concern every generation, but not yourself and not your parents directly. So you won't have any brothers for your father, for example. I think with my very first action, I want to fulfill already one of my hint cards. So let me place a who were they action. This action would now allow me to either place one of my friends cards from my hands beside one of my single family members. Right now I don't have a single family members. Everyone is well married here. So I can choose option B and this option B is replace a child card, basically an unknown family member. And as I have this, one of your mother's ancestors was Spanish. I think I will replace this card here. So this child card just gets discarded right now. And now several things happen. So I don't have to pay any money for this marriage or whatever you would call that, but I don't also gain something. So and then I would score one additional prestige point. As I met my very first hint card here, I would gain an additional prestige point. So right now I'm already scoring one, two prestige points. Nice. His special ability says gain uh, the green stone or the special action stone and plus one honor if you have another artist in your family. Unfortunately, I don't have another artist in my family, so this special ability doesn't fire here. As I now discover that one of my grandparents was Carlos, the local Don Juan, I'm now also allowed to place my great grandparents here over Carlos basically, and these are still unknown an unknown pair to me, so I will draw two of these child cards, one female and one male with their adult side up. So this is something I can interact later on in the game as well. And I think with my second action, though with my second stone, I will use an action from the main board and this says contribute to the community. And I already yeah, mentioned this, I think I will hold a little feast here. So I have to pay now three gold, so that's one and two of these gold cards here. So I'm now allowed to take this feast card and I think I will play it on this grandmother here. So this now directly fulfills another hint card here. So I gain an additional prestige point. I get one, two, three, four honor points because it says so on the feast card itself. And I'm also allowed to draw one additional friend from the draw pile here and this is Pierre the newspaper owner and this is he's pretty nice because he gives me some income and also would me provide an additional action stone and I think this is pretty important. So I already have completed two of my hints here. This is not too bad of course I lost considerable amount of money already and all of my action for this very first turn already over. So let's advance to this step of the yeah, first round here. This is the income step. Right now I only have an income of one so I get one additional gold. Then we come to round number two. I receive all my action stones back. So these two blue stones which I will place next to my playboard and then we will have two additional actions again. 
Okie dokie, I think my first action will be how big was my family and I think I will draw the standard way here so I will not interfere with nature here. So this allows me now to select a couple and I think this time I will go for my great grandparents here so I think this will be the brother of yeah, Carlos for example. So let us draw a child card and exactly it is a brother so we will place it next to Carlos. I think I really need to increase my income so I will play another who were they action and this would now allow me to discover the identity of my great grandfather. I really thought I might be able to marry maybe but I think this is not necessary here so Pierre will be my great grandfather. So I will have to pay the dowry here. This would be two gold. So here I will gain one income. And Pierre also provides me the red special action stone, which would allow me to undertake a mission here. And I think this is something I will have to do pretty soon or basically just now, because these special stones are only valid until the end of the current generation they are acquired from and as the first generation only consists of two turns, this would be my last turn already. I think I really have to place it yeah, right now. Okay, let's do that. So we will undertake a mission. For that I will have to discard one friend and I am decided to go with lovely Olga here. She's quite nice, but I think I have nicer friends in my hand, so she will be just discarded. And this would now allow me to draw a mission card. And this mission card says, re-establish mission in Thailand. Re-establish the mission in Siam after the Burmese invasion. Requirements, have at least two, um, I think, diplomat friends in your family and as a reward, I gain four additional honor. Right now I have one diplomat in my family and this is Pierre, so I'm already 50% through this mission here. That's not too bad. I have used all of my action stones already, so we come to the second stage of this second turn. This is again the income phase. Right now I do have two income, so I get two additional frauds here. Next we come to the prestige phase, so we score our prestige points. Right now I have three prestige points, so again, one, two, three more honor points in this turn. In a multiplayer game, you would now also score the amount of your children in your current generation, but this is not going to happen in this solo variant here, so we can directly jump into generation number two. I think I will end it here. So in the next video, I will go through generation number two, depending on how long this will B, I might consider doing also the third generation. I really have to see how well everything goes. We would start a complete new turn now, so we would gain a special action stone, which is good. We would not grow up our child's because, uh, children because they are all grown up already in this solo variant, so we would directly jump into round number three. I think one last thing I will do, because I'm really curious about that is, and this would be to draw our new hint card. So let's see. So this says there was a craftsman in your family who had a title. Unfortunately, I cannot give my father a title here. Hmm. It's really a pity. The second one says the sister of one of your grandfathers was an artist. So I really have to take care about my sister here. So I really need a sister. Wow, that's tough. Okay, and the third hint card here. A parent of one of your grandfathers was connected to the city hall. So he had the title of a patron of Paris or city mayor. Or he contributed to the community by visiting the mayor. This is right now not really possible. I think I really have to check that if that visit the mayor contribution card is also available in the second generation contribution cards. Ah, I really have to check that. So I will have to deal with that. And this also brings me to another thing I have to do, and this is to discard the current contributions and replace them with new contributions from the second generation. So this is the court ballet. And we can do a noble portrait. And we could give a banquet, banquet. Hmm, not too sure how to pronounce that. In Germany, that's a banquet. 
and we also have to discard the generation one titles so here's the city mayor now so this is definitely something i have to take care of there is the marquee and the patron of Paris. So one of these two I definitely have to acquire in this generation in order to fulfill the hint card. Let's have a last look at our current family tree. Not much has happened I have to admit here. So we really have to acquire some additional action stones maybe in order to go for the fertility doctor or something like that. I think this is really important to grow our family a little bit into yeah, horizontally in order to do some marriages and in order to especially go for this sister of one of your grandfather was an artist. So, so one of these grandfathers here definitely need an additional sister. I really hope you enjoyed my playthrough so far. I really love this game and I really love the solo mission. I already have to tell you that. So I can't wait to go on with a second generation here. The last thing to say is I hope to see you soon in my next episode of my playthrough of Legacy, the Testament of Duke Ducrecy. And until then, bye bye.